power or the gift of alkalinity. For short, we call it Go Green. Go Green, baby. What this program is about is energy. If you're going to have energy, you have to understand that there's a delicate balance in your body called the acid-alkaline balance. And I'm sure many of you have heard the term pH many times in your life. But usually you might hear it about a hair product or something of that nature, unless you were studying your body a little bit. But just as your body has to regulate its temperature, ideally at what temperature? 98.6, right? Too much variance either way of that it affects your health, doesn't it? Your natural body temperature going there. You get up to 104, you've got some real serious problems. Well, as important as your body temperature is, not the external temperature, but the body temperature that you're able to maintain consistently, there's another number that's equally important, maybe even more, and that is the acid-alkaline balance within your body, the pH balance, as it's called. And there's a scale that measures how acidic to how alkaline any substance or environment is. And that scale's right here in front of you, and you can see that scale goes basically from zero, which is burning holes through something, to 14, which is very alkaline. Seven is neutral. Now, all the different parts of your body have a different need for acid or alkalinity, but the vast majority, and the most important one, the blood, has to be slightly alkaline, slightly alkaline. Now, that alkalinity is 7.36, and much variance from that, and you've got some challenges in your blood. Now, you can measure that directly with tests, but you can also measure your urine, or you can also measure your saliva. They're not as totally accurate as the blood is, but they're things you can easily do. Once you start seeing your pattern, you're going to know what's going on. And if you're in a position where your blood or your urine, saliva is the least accurate, is moving you into the acid stage, you know that your body is starting to break down. Now, when we say acid pH, when you hear that term, acid pH or alkaline pH, technically all it really means is when you're looking at atoms, you've got neutrons, you've got pro protons, and you've got electrons. All you've got to know is... When it's acid, it's, got, it's saturated with protons. When it's alkaline, there's lots of electrons. And those electrons have the impact of creating an environment in which oxygen can be very rich. They also are that, that alkaline environment is what makes those red blood cells have a negative charge that makes them bounce off of each other so they don't stick together, so they flow through your body and you get the oxygen that you need. Also, it's very difficult in a highly oxygenated environment, a non-acid environment, for microorganisms to grow in mass. They stay checked, they stay balanced when you're fully oxygenated. But when your bloodstream gets acid, it's like putting out the pollution and wondering why the rats show up. So alkalinity has got to be a major focus and it's very easy to get yourself to stay alkaline, but you got to think the power of alkaline and the short term we have for that is go green. If you're overweight, how many of you here have worked out really hard but still can't seem to get lost those last 10 or 15 pounds or 5 pounds away? How many have had this experience? Raise your hand. Say, I. I. A lot of people say, oh, it's my metabolism. Well, that would be true to some extent. But a lot of people work out like crazy. They still don't seem to be getting the result. When your body is extremely acidic, you don't get as much oxygen. When you don't get as much oxygen, everything slows down, including the metabolism, even though you're working out. In addition, as you work out, if you work out hard, and you're working out in an anaerobic way, you're building even more what? Who knows? Even more? Acid. So a lot of people are actually, the body then says, wait a second, we got to retain more water here to protect it, and we got to get these acids away from the critical organs of the body, so we're going to retain fat, put it in the fat until the body has time, it has enough energy again where we can push it in the bloodstream and excrete it again. We can get rid of these wastes. So fat actually protects you. A lot of people, by the way, are in much worse shape when they're skinny than when they're fat when they're toxic because the people that are overweight very often have more of a buffer to deal with some of those acids.